Howdy folks. Welcome back to the same lake we were just at. Um, it's been about a week but I was driving around um, and every place I went to the DNR had a uh, roadblock sign so I just decided I'm gonna come back to the same lake and because it's so nice I mean why, why wouldn't you want to stay here? Um, I updated the camper situation. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit but it's uh, supper time you go out in the woods, find some firewood. There's some firewood over here, but that stuff's too thick. I just need a little bit. I'm gonna grill some corn. You know, it's north woods. You usually can just walk a little, little ways and find some firewood. This wasn't staged at all. I'm just gonna come over here and chop that up on the tailgate, make them into smaller pieces. Sorry, this charred piece. So I get the cigarette butts out. Get in the plastic cap. I lost it. But how's this? I could smell this when I came in, so in that old. I'll use this as the base. Are nice and black. At least I got no running water to wash them. I got some toilet paper and I put some um, vegetable oil on it. That should keep it burning. This doesn't work. I got one more trick. But I think that vegetable oil should keep it burning. Yeah. So I just want some hot coals for the, um, I don't want flames for the corn. All we're gonna do, or all, yeah. All we're gonna do. Nope. Yeah, it's aluminum foil. Um, Salt and pepper for the corn. Our meat, spam. That'll be good this week. Just out here. Grab the corn out of the cooler. I gotta be quick with that. To cook the corn. <laughs> Uh, I think this, I think they, this would have been good to start the fire. It's a little green. I want, I want to take off most, but not all of this. Oh, 
because you know I see the corn, so that one there. Good. But this is I'm not supposed to do that. Let me know. Yeah. a piece for the, for the stand. soak your corn for a couple hours. I didn't do that. Great. Oh, fire's not quite ready. So uh, I put the fire out. Turned it back on. See, I'll let that burn out a little bit more because I just want some coals. I don't want really fire. Trying to get this wood burnt up. Ooh. Boy Scouts. So the coals are almost ready, so let's get the spam ready. Ah, oh, the water's leaking out. Oh well. Sure it soaked up some of it. looks absolutely delicious. Uh, is there grease? Forget. Just gotta go like that a couple times. And there it just slides on out. your way up there. Excuse me. 
See one of them paper plates, you know. Five minutes remaining on the corn. Oh my, get all full of ash. There's five minutes left. So there's just a few minutes left on the corn and spam. I see fish out there, so if I hopefully I can get a cool shot. Just jumping out there. Even right now in this little area, you got a bunch of fish. But then out here, I've seen a couple fish jump. So, oh, yeah, one just splashed over, over that way, like off camera. Bam is done. Oops. Get a little ash on it. You're gonna be quick about it. There, I got it. Alright. I'm going to do that. And eat the spam. That side, I believe, is done because it was up against this is nice hot dog. So, yeah, so that side got warm and then the other warmer than the other side. All right, last time I had spam, Ooh, nice and crispy on one side. Last time I had spam, I ended up having like. Bump, 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 that type of thing. Tastes like a hamburger, bratwurst, bacon, and ham all mixed together into one thing. I don't like all of them, so pretty good. Right now I'm at boat landing. As long as I can hear it sizzling, it means it's good. Once it stops sizzling, there it means the fire is not hot enough. Or I have dried out all my corn and it is ruined. Nice and hot. <clears throat> Ooh, need something to drink. I have to play my music.
ain't nothing but a country song. Sit down, listen, it won't take long. Song about a girl, no, it ain't made up. She likes cowboy boots and a big four truck. She can hold a bub and drinks it neat. Makes buttermilk biscuits that can't be beat. With a big blue eyes and long brown hair. Got that buttery mess all cleaned up, um, except for myself, of course. Dessert time. Now, I had one of these in fourth grade, so that would have been. I'm not even gonna tell you what year that is. That's too long ago. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so that was the last time that, or I, the first time I had one of these. And my sister got one of these, and she just nibbled on it over a month's period. But uh, do, you, do you eat the whole thing or is it, is it it's only 140 calories so it's not like you it's a lot of calories same with yes that's what I need is crumbs all over so it's only got 5 grams of fat it does have 23 grams of carbs so it is a good snack but it's uh 12 grams of sugar. It's not that bad. And, yep, so, oop. A little bit of the ice. Do you call it ice cream? Or is it dry cream? Oh. And that's from me smashing it in at pieces but yeah it does look like it does look like just a regular ice cream sandwich which I believe that's what it is and then they just take them and dehydrate them freeze dry them and they freeze dry them Why is there a hole in the middle? Um, how does I gotta take another bite to describe the taste? I can taste the ice cream bar, but then there's like Ever take a vacuum and blow yourself in the face, like shot back, you know, that whole thing? That's what it kind of tastes like. It tastes like an ice cream sandwich with the air getting blown in your mouth at the same time. I don't know how else to describe it. Would I buy this again? Maybe if I go on a camping trip, yeah. It'd be a nice little snack. Stale crackers, chocolate crackers, stale, stale chocolate graham crackers, and store brand whipped cream. That's a better, that's, that's a better description of how it tastes, I guess.
All right, the dirt's done. Let's go check out the setup. You can see, like, you can see when I described it the first time. I put the lights underneath there. It's on. Look at all this. I've never tried it. But yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. <clears throat> but yeah, that was so. We'll work out on the tailgate. And then, uh, you know, I can have a cutting board here or whatever if I do a late night hatch and cook. Ugh. Give me a moment. I, I'm still digesting food. Alright, so I am going to be out at sea six. Actually, a week. I'm going to be out, out a week. That's my plan out camping. So I got this um, foam mattress thing. It's a tri fold. It's like, ah. Oh. That mess up everything right away. But, uh, right here, yeah, right in here. See, it folds up so then you can flip it up and everything. So I did that because I thought if I wanted to, I can flip up the back against that wall. Oh, actually, now I think about it. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to sit up straight, but we'll do kind of a sitter up thing. And then I just put a fleece blanket down over it as a sheet. And I think that'll help keep the heat in. And then this is a king size double fleece. And I just folded it over so it's one yeah, double layered. I heard something again. Probably them squirrels. All right, in we go. So, still the same with the lights. Just bang. Yep. So, yeah. so actually, um, I took the, I to dim it down a little bit so I can kind of show you. As you can see, there's no duct tape on here. Um, I put some super glue here, here, you know, like every foot, I just put a dab of, um, it's Gorilla Gel Glue, and then there was the adhesive back on there, so it, it seems to be holding up, and then, um, the duct tape up above it that's holding the wire, and, ah, uh, it seems to be holding, well, it's come off in some places, but, like, right up here, boy, I've been just doing this. Rough one down every once in a while, keeping it up there, and hopefully, they will adhere better. But yeah, it just seems like when this tape gets warm, it doesn't stick. Ugh. But yeah, it's still the same thing. Got the battery and the other battery with 410 watt converter for the laptop. Underneath, got a bit. Got some more light. Underneath, I just got some tools. Um, got my drill bit set and DeWalt drill because I got my batteries. I figured I might as well bring that along too because I have a square bit and that has come in handy plenty of times. Be like, oh, it's a square bit. Who the heck has a square bit? I do. I got a square bit. I'll take that out. There was a saw. You got the campfire rotisserie again. I, um, so, but I forgot hot dogs. So I brought a little table along in case I do completely off grid with no table. Extra pot, um, extra kayak rack in case I pick up some lady in the kayak and she wants to go out fishing with me. Ow. It could happen. Ugh, anything else new that I do? 
inside. Um, well, it's pretty much the same. Just here, you got some snacks. Um, here, same thing. Like, there's other food snacks. I got night crawlers in here instead of batteries. Um, I want to make sure I had plenty. I had my food cooler. I'm actually going to keep that closed. Keep the coldness in. And I got my hoops. It's my underwear. But it's uh, my clothes. And also a battery pack, water, some big fishing rods for an adventure coming up soon. Oh, actually, that's right. A oh, Carhartt hat. Keep me warm. It can get a little chilly by myself back here. But if I dress in layers, should be able to sleep through the night. But yeah, so it's back light. Switch there. Anyways, anything else? Anything else? I I don't think there's really anything else new. There isn't the picnic table being moved, but that's really not that important. Well, folks, I had a fun day, um, but it's getting late, so I'm gonna call her a night. I'm gonna put on my pajamas, crawl into my nice new bed, and try to get. Six to eight hours of sleep. Yeah, right. It's going to happen. Four would be nice, but um, get up early in the morning, get out on the lake, see if I can't catch some panfish, or uh, big bluegill, I mean, for breakfast, brunch. Yeah, brunch. Catch and cook. Ca catch and cook brunch. That sounds good. I'm going to leave you. A little time lapse of the lake as the sun sets for a little bit of an outro. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you want to keep following me, hit that subscribe button, the little dingy bell thing, keep up with notifications, and watch me on my camping adventures. Thanks, folks.